this is my first coding project that I did for the STEM fair. The title is Automation Using JavaScript. You heard me. I use JavaScript for this project. Stay tuned to find out more info. That sounded so interesting. I can't wait to hear all about it. Yeah, I can't wait to share with you guys either. So when I first started to learn um, coding, I started reading the book Girls Who Code written by Reshma Sarjani. And in that book, um, the book taught me about the core four principles of coding. And the core four principles are variables, loops, functions, and conditional statements. I hope you guys have watched my all my um, coding for kids videos. If you haven't, I really, really highly recommend you to watch them because I really want you guys to learn the core for principles because it will really help you to learn about coding, especially if you want to do a coding project. So the first principle of the core for is variables. Variables are containers that hold information inside. Some of the inf information they can hold are numbers, strings, booleans, and dates. And the second principle we have are conditional statements. Conditional statements is um, like a task you're giving to the computer and you want the computer to follow if it's um, a, true, a true statement or a false statement. So, um, for example, we have the if conditions, then perform task A, else perform task B. Hey Neha, that sounds interesting. Can you give me an example of the if statement? Yeah, sure. Um, okay. If I'm hungry, then I'm gonna get a sandwich. Else, I'm gonna read my favorite book. So now let's move to the third principle of core four, which are loops. And the loops have three steps in them, which are the start, repeat, and the end. And we, it also includes the infinite loop, which um, is a pattern or a loop that never ends. Some examples of loops are the while loop, the do while loop, and the for loop. And I know, right? Don't these examples sound so complicated? Yeah, I'm still learning these advanced um, concepts in coding. So the final principle of core four is functions. Inside the functions, we have some algorithms. And inside the algorithms, we can write loops, conditional statements, and declare some variables. For example, um, um, a function example could be a print function, which can accept two parameters. A parameter is a mini variable that can store information. So, as I just said, the print function has two parameters. The par parameter one, um, well, I, I want to send an English essay to the printer. And parameter two is which printer we want to send it to. Um, so, a really important concept in the functions is dry. Dry stands for don't repeat yourself. This basically means use a function instead of repeating the same code over and over and over again. So here is a project I did using JavaScript. The objective of this project is to change the image when we move the mouse cursor on top of the image, like so. When we move the cursor out, it shows back the original, original image. Now let's see the code I wrote for this project. So, first we have the head section, which, oh, I'm sorry, this is what I meant. First we have the head section, which contains the title. Then we have the script section, where we write the JavaScript code. In the script section, we have an if condition. 
This project can be opened using any web browsers like Chrome, Firefox, or Internet Explorer. If the if condition checked your browser supports images, if it does, then we declare two variables called image1 and image2. Next, we set the source of the images, which image1 we set to bird.gif and image2 we set to emoji.gif, which is right here. This is the end of the head section. The first, um, next we have the main body of the program. The first line of the body is the title, displayed when you open this project in the browser. Next, we have two events called on mouse over and on mouse out. Events are commands given to the computer to perform when the event occurs. We set the source of the image on the screen to image two, which is the emoji on mouse over. We set the source of the image to image one, which is bird on mouse out. Finally, we initialize what should be displayed when we open the project, which we set to bird. So you can see there's not much code here, but to understand these events and how to use them takes a while for a beginner coder like me. So I know that was a lot of information you guys had to understand, um, but anyway, I would really like to thank Girls Who Code, Khan Academy, Tinker, and also Code.art for teaching me various ways in learning coding. Um, also, if you guys want to get a copy of the code I used to program this project, please comment below and ask and I'll definitely send it to you guys. And I hope you guys enjoyed this project as much as I did. And please subscribe to my channel and share with your friends. Bye.